episode African roots and today we'll be looking about some red snapper fillet so we're gonna steam it down but the main ingredients in this one is the broccoli so this is a broccoli steamed red snapper fillet so some something new trying out something new you know the broccoli is the main thing in this because this is a broccoli recipe incorporating a protein which is the fish so just stay tuned and just watch what I go on while I clean up the fish fillet. Yes guys, as you can see, wash off the fish fillet with some vinegar so now I'm going to get one next wash. If you just cut out the rawness, you see me? So, get it back in the pan or get some water on it and wash it off. So after this process, I'm going to wash off the okra, the, the corn and all of the other ingredients I'm going to use right now. So, just watch what I go on while I'm getting that. People. As you can see, I'm getting some okra now. I don't know, say steam fish without okra come like a joke thing. Even though this recipe is solely based upon the broccoli, because this is a broccoli recipe. You're gonna see how the broccoli does take charge in changing the color of the steam fish. I don't know, say broccoli is a strong, you know, leafy vegetable where you don't know, say. It not really create leaves but it create little pollens and it take over anything it go into. So just watch what I go on while I get the okra then clean up, cut off the top and the bottom and when I done I gonna dice it up. I mean I like when I in the wall of okra in the steam fish. So just watch our process there why things go on activate. So 
people so you don't know so we are going to add in some carbohydrate and you don't know so we have Irish so just I take off the skin to get it wash don't know this is the local I think it's this is local local Irish so just I peel it off right and now to get it in the water for wash off so I just I take off them things off of it you see me be a puppy in the background, people. Make it hard for cook out the door right and also. And at the kitchen, we're going to take this, you know. So you see there, sweet potato. Yeah. Take off the skin and so forth. So just stay tuned and just watch what I go on. Right, so you don't know so the corn mix so we're gonna dice up some corn you know so I get them wash off and we're gonna dice them up I want them in some proportional pieces so you don't know so everything cook one time so no one nothing too big nothing too small everything depends on one frequency so we do so gonna dice up a corn so you don't know so corn in a steam fish you know man no normal but you don't know this is a broccoli recipe a very healthy one so you don't know this is like a pasco vegan recipe so you don't know say so pasco vegan a people who eat fish and greens you see me but you know eat chicken and them something so just i get in a can dice them up so you went and everything don't cook you don't know say so everything depend on one frequency so I'm just getting the corn you now, you see this, so it's colorful already and we're not rich now. Eh? We're still in the wash up process. People, this are not gonna normal. Bam! See broccoli bag there all the show. So you don't know, this is a broccoli recipe. I incorporate corn, Irish sweet potato, red snapper, fish fillet. So you don't know, say so this now no bone, so you can just full dry. You don't know, we're going to put some crackers in it. Okay, you don't know, say so steam fish without crackers too. It's not going to work. So you don't know anything set. So what you know, I prepare the water for the broccoli. So I get a little salt in the water. So if anything in the broccoli, it rises it up and get rid of it. So see the people, the broccoli. So I get the bag full so we can wash it off. With this, you know, in a supermarket, I buy the broccoli. So it was in the fridge and you don't know we still have to wash it kind of defrost it you know we can't wait just come off of the road and just go right into cooking can't wait right now so it's somewhat defrosting right now but we're gonna clean it up dice it up put it in the pot and then you don't know so we're gonna get the pot on the fire so just stay tuned and watch what go on please remember to like share comment subscribe and thank you very much for the support thus far just stay tuned
as you can as you can see now getting the sweet potato and the irish dice in smaller portions so everything finish at one speed so you don't know we just have cut them up dice it up and we have season up with fish with the ingredients the natural ingredients and we will get the pot on the fire so just watch out for that So now we are getting the fish season. So we'll put some fish maggi season and the fish and the natural vegetables. I will get in the pumpkin noodle in it also. I will just go work in the season then. I make that sit while we get the pot on the stove. So just stay tuned and watch out for that. people so see they know we're getting pumpkin yogurt so we're just gonna go work in the ingredients now so you don't know if it's soaking at the fish and in the natural seasonings and vegetables so we're just gonna uh, work it in work it in or we're gonna make it sit but we get the pot on the fire and you're gonna see all of that in the process so just watch what you're going so we're just gonna cook this in the kitchen car have some puppy I invade this space right now so don't know then take over so we're gonna just go and bounce this in the kitchen so just stay tuned for that and watch what I go on As you can see now we get the pot on the fire 
I will get in a little tip of oil, like a coconut oil. And we are going to saute up with natural season for this. Release all of that flavor into the pot. So, see, then now put in the broccoli. And we are going to do this process until all of our natural season is completely in the pot. And we are going to make that saute. So, just watch our go on and just look on the processor. People, so now we have to saute up the natural ingredients so it does release all of that flavor into the pot so we just make that simmer for about two minutes and then we just add in the coconut milk and add in our seasoning and just get everything in order so just watch out for that So now we are get the coconut milk mixed out. Cause it we are gonna add in a the natural seasoning and thing you know. So we are gonna sweeten out the coconut milk and add it to the pot with the natural season. So just I get out all of the lump lump them and just sweeten, sweeten, sweeten. And this is a coconut powder. Never have any natural coconut a foot right and also. Just I use a little of the coconut powder. I'm going to do it just the same. So, bam, check it back on the pot. So, I'm turn down the flame and go and saute it up and thing. Because I prepare, I prepare it now for the coconut milk, you know. So, you know, so the coconut milk go in and it cook and simmer down and cook all the natural seasoning. And the fish are go on. So, see it there? I mix out the coconut milk. When you finish mix out, you don't know me I to add the coconut milk into the pot. So just watch that flex the wall go on now. Yes, people, you see that now? Add in the coconut milk. So just I'm gonna add some more water to it. So we're gonna mix out residue and throw it in the pot. Yeah, you can see when that boil up it, it's gonna get a different vibe, a creamy, thick texture. So just watch and see what I go on. People, as you can see now, me take out the fish out of the seasoning pan. So what I'm going to do now, add some water. I don't know, say the pumpkin noodle season residue in the pan. Is. So we're going to sweeten out that and throw a little water in the pot. Take out the air so season them and put in the frying pot. So what we're going to do now, make this boil down. Then we add in with fish. Because I don't know, say fish is a white meat it delicate easy for fall apart so that are the last thing we are going to put in there we put the crackers on top so we just make this boil and cook and when the fish are going there so we are going so bam see the fish there land the fish on top so we use the can and you season them as a bedding because we don't really want the fish down at the bottom of the pot because you don't want it stick so you see it on top there now don't know it has a steep on top and the steam and soaking all that, that nice creamy sauce so everything cook already you know just the fish now we are gonna penetrate and you know. you now you know so this is not gonna take long my shop are one five minutes this done 
because I fill it. Fish fill it. Red snapper fill it. So you don't know the ingredients is broccoli. You're going to see how the broccoli overpower all of this steam sauce. You saw the color change and just diversify. So you just watch what I go on. You don't know. Anytime you see me, I went away I'll share out the thing. So you saw that creamy. Yeah. Very, very delicious, people. You can try this recipe. This is a broccoli red snapper fillet steamed. So this is a broccoli recipe that you don't know. This is a pesco vegetarian meal because fish is involved that you don't know. You can try this at home. It's very tasty. And the fish is the protein with alongside the vegetables where I give the different minerals and so forth. So just stay tuned and watch what I go on. As you can see, you know, you don't know say, if I see my put in the crack as the fish done. Or you can know say the fish finish, you can get a fork and stick it gently. If the fork just run right through the fish without any dragging, so you don't know say it was going smooth, you don't know say the fish is ready. So you don't know, you're adding your crackers pan top if you kind of steam it up. Because you don't know crackers in a steam fish and nothing normal. So you see that? Add in the crackers so you don't know so you we'll take off this and now and plate it. So that look people, watch there. Put some of the juices them on the crackers so it soak. So we just uh, penetrate it now. So it creamy. Yeah, see, ah, see it now? We we'll plate it. So you don't know. The can is well ready. You know. So I use a spoon and I test it out got that steam so just I take out some of the thing them you know see the one of the fish there see that yeah people so you don't know and the sweet potato and the Irish and the broccoli see that you can see how the, the sauce of this green concentration because the broccoli overpower it. That's why I call it the broccoli steam red snapper dish. Look at the color of that, guys. Look at the broccoli on top. See that? You see the pollens in the sauce? The broccoli overpower. The steam fish. That's why I call it the broccoli steam red snapper fillet recipe. So you see it? So that creamy. Don't know so full enjoyment this you know. Sure. Watch your people. Yeah. Look at that colour. Look at the broccoli. Look at the pollens. Yeah, look at that. Tender. So you don't know people the food land. I just full joy time. So just please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And just try out this recipe and make me know how I go on. Thank you all for your support thus far. And just take care of yourself and be safe by the gravel. See that people? Creamy. So this is a broccoli recipe including red snapper, fillet, and the crackers and the corn and the sweet potato and the okra. So you don't know, say this is well nice. So it does have a food joy. So just try this recipe and make me know I'll go and say respect until you see it again.